everyone, welcome to my Tuesday New Moon Reaction vlog. Um, first of all, <coughs> the reason that I'm in my pyjamas is not because I couldn't be bothered to get dressed, it's actually because I'm really, really ill. I have um, a terrible cough and just a headache that makes my head hurt whenever I like even move it slightly so I had to come home from school. Yesterday, which was Monday, was the day which I saw New Moon. My plan was that I would write down um, 10 things that I loved and 5 things that I didn't like but I've ended up with 13 things that I loved and only one thing, thing that I really liked was the beginning title. I don't know if this is just because I was super excited but when New Moon like appeared backwards I could not contain myself. I was like so so excited so I just thought that was... The second thing I liked was Edward walking from his car towards Bella. The music there was one of my favourite ones on the soundtrack and I just thought it was like a really, you know, great moment. I just really like that sort of stuff. Um, the third thing which I loved was when Bella, Jacob and Mike go to see the action, what's it called, like face punch, the movie. And oh my gosh, the dialogue coming from the movie, it was embarrassing how much I laughed. No one else was laughing, but I thought it was so funny. They were like, put your gun down. Put your gun down or I'll blow your head off. Both of you put both your gun downs or I'll blow both your heads off. It was, it was good. The fourth thing I liked was Alice and the yellow Porsche and her like whole outfit then. I just thought the scene with the Porsche was really good. Um, it was exactly like I imagined it. The whole coming up to Volterra and the journey. It was just like exactly as I pictured it. So I was really pleased with that. The fourth thing which I thought was so funny was when Bella and Jacob are in Bella's kitchen and they are just about to kiss, like they are so close and they're just like, they're just about to and then Edward's like, hello, vampire calling and Jacob's just like, damn. So that was good but followed by a sad bit. The fifth thing that I liked was the morphing of the werewolves. I know we've already seen this in the trailer but obviously we got to see a lot more of it in the movie and I just thought they did it really well. Like when, um, oh I can't remember which one it is, that's so bad. When one of them morphs and because Bella hits him, that was like really, really weird. And it was just, the, the phasing was so good, it was really quite scary. I love the way when Jacob and that wolf were fighting, like Bella was just sat on the ground like, yeah, let's crack out the popcorn. The next thing I loved was Edward reciting Shakespeare at the start. Oh my gosh, that just restored my faith in Edward. I'm still Team Edward, absolutely. A mere film could not turn me away from Team Edward, but I can see why a lot of people have been converted. Um, the next thing I liked was Carlisle and Bella. When Bella's just been hurt and there, I didn't like like seeing all the glass being pulled out. That was just oh, I'm really squeamish, so that was not nice. But I really liked like the chat they had, and I'd, I'm a Carlisle fan, like a massive Carlisle fan. So I was glad that he was in that bit. Um, Edward's Hugh Hefner dressing gown or bathrobe when he was going back to the Vulture Eye. What was that like red velvety open cut, like neck thing? It was so funny. He looked just like half. Okay, Bella and Edward's reunion was just so, so, so perfect. Sometimes with Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart, I'm feel it, I feel like they're acting in a way that goes, oh my gosh, I really wish I hadn't done this stupid film. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes they just act like they're a little bit like too cool for school. But that reunion was, I really found it quite convincing and so it was nice and, you know, it was nice and different. The Latin quote, when Arrow spoke in Latin, okay. I laughed because I thought maybe if I laughed then everyone in the cinema would be like, oh wow, she speaks Latin. So when he said it, I was like, <laughs> good one, good one, Arrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Victoria. I loved Victoria in this one so much better than the last time. Way better costumes. Last time she had on that weird coat thing, didn't like that. Um, and I just thought that her like little action scene was so good and when she disappeared under the water, ooh, so scary. Oh, that really hurt. Um, and finally, Alice's leap over the banister. I just thought it was funny. I love when um, I loved in Twilight when they had her like walking along the train coming in. Like they they do really well with Alice, better than almost any other character I think. And I really liked the way that they they work a lot on her movement to really get across the fact that she's so like graceful and okay. On to the one thing which really annoyed me. 
Bella has certain moments in all the films where you're just like, for the love of God, will you cheer up? You're so miserable. I just want to slap her sometimes. I'm not saying that I hate Bella, but sometimes you just think, Why, what do they see in her? She's so grumpy. She's so miserable. What is it? And this was a perfect moment for this. When Charlie comes in and gives her the camera, and I know she's upset about being a whole year older than Edward, but she just acts so like, oh, thanks, thanks for the camera. It's like, could you be a little bit more grateful, please? Okay, so one thing I want to talk about concerning New Moon is a lot of people have quite a go at Bella for going into this sort of state of decline after Edward leaves, and I have a few arguments for why that it's really unfair to judge her in that way because, um, I mean, people say, oh, it must be just because Stephanie Mayer is such an amateur writer and, like, she just makes Bella into such an overreacting character. Well, no, because even if you look in Shakespeare, there are characters in Shakespeare that go into a state of decline, like, look at Ophelia, which is fitting because in Bella's room there is a Hamlet poster and Ophelia is a character in Hamlet who goes through a very similar... Um, process that Bella does when she finds out she can't be with Hamlet and Bella finds out she can't be with Edward so don't criticize Stephanie Mayer when like literary classics have used the same technique I mean come on and also it's not just like a breakup it's almost like a bereavement for her because he's going and he's never coming back and they're so they're so close that you know it's it's more than just a breakup so I think people are way too quick to judge so, this has been really nice to have a talk about this because all day back at school I have people going, oh my gosh, New Moon is so overrated, or just people talking about Twilight who really don't know what they're talking about and it really annoys me. Like, there's this boy in my politics class and he was like, oh yeah, um, I think that Arrow, like, I think he could read her mind, but that he just wasn't letting it on and I'm like, well, you're wrong. Sorry. <laughs> it really annoys me. It really, really does. And then people tell me stuff about Twilight, it's like, yeah, I know, thanks. I don't know if it's just me getting angry because... Anyway, this has been nice to have a chat. Please leave me your comments. I'm sorry this video was so long, but I mean, I had a lot to say. So yeah, what was your experience of going to see it like? I I'm pleased with it. I hope you are too, and I hope you had a really good time going to see it. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. So bye.